It's a new day, everyone. The 15th. A soon day. Um. So, what's wrong? Just something's been on my mind for a while now, actually. Can we talk sometime whenever's good for you? Thanks. See you later. That reminds me, the home shop, it, we don't care about that. Futaba was behaving strangely, I can't stop thinking about it. Indeed, I know what you're thinking. We should go see about heading okay. back to the palace. That's what he was on about, right? Um, right we're going to the palace. Hmm. Right, yeah, 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 like, I'm, I'm sure. Like, come on, I just want to go to the palace. Like, like, we know how this works, let's go. What is Ryuji reading? It's got details on it. Although he turned the page and it was the same again. Creepy. Infiltrate Palace. Very well. Let us go. I mean, it looked like some kind of manga, but. It's. It's Monty Five. Wait, does this have um? I've forgotten what they're called now. Why can I not remember? The seeds. Will seeds. It's the bottom left. We got the icons, so... I'm assuming so. Did I miss some? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not, not even sure where I was in terms of the rooms. But where was I? Yeah, that's where I was, wasn't it? Yeah. Because we couldn't get past the cables. Right, Lloyd that. Let's go. Go. Look, the cables are gone. Indeed. Rather fortuitous that we tried out the console we found in Mementos. Now we can proceed. Let's move out. Again, we're not bringing yes. caution. Okay, let's go, Senpai. What's the beeping? Hello! Oh. You're not anything special. Alright, you're green, so we'll grab you straight off. Is green, but it could easily change up to blue. Show me your true form. We've seen it happen before. Oh, again. An easy feeling. Look at that guy's face. Just like, I'm so sad. No. What does it say upon the X? Hmm. Oh. Okay. okay. A yellow. Ooh. Hang on. Uh-oh. That door's security looks super strict. And there isn't even an ID scanner on it. Let's take a closer peek. Hmm. Joker. Yellow ones. Joker, let's take a closer look at that mega secure door. But I wanted to look around first. Fine. Security lock currently engaged. Please answer the following identity authentication question. What did Takuto Maruki lose in exchange for the power to rewrite cognitions? For real? Uh, I talked. Real? Um, but that's not the part that matters now. What's it talking about? Doc losing something? Is this some kind of riddle? Mm. There's a security question. Like when you reset a password, only the one person's supposed to know the answer. That's how you end up with private information being used like a key. I see, so we need information on Maruki's life. Oh, this is his own palace. I bet we'll find some clues to the answer if we look around thoroughly enough. All right, let's go. That's the plan. Then let's get a clue. And all right, so I want to go back here. So it's like there's a bump here on the map. Oh, and that and that door. Focus. You're yellow. Reveal your true well, this looks like a like security deposit room, so maybe there's information in here. I see. Oh, that one's really rare. Bless. Oh, bless. Good job, Violet. 
I don't know if that one's vulnerable to that now. We'll go over there, though. I was hoping that was going to be it, but no. What are you giggling at? You can get two people. Ori Kalkum. Show me the money. Ooh, not bad. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Go on. Go on, will you? Go on. That's quite a bit of money, thank you. Just like I thought. I've got to use that money to pay for a new camera now, Morgana. Bloody hell. Okay. Alright, so. Somewhere. Yeah, 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 like here. Page 103, February 2nd. Tomorrow is Rumi's birthday. I'll be meeting her parents. My hands have been shaking an awful lot lately. Will they let their daughter marry a low-level researcher like me? Now I'm getting even more anxious. When I told Rumi how nervous I'm getting, she just laughed and said I think too much. She may not have understood my problem, but I do so love her laugh. I don't think I'll be able to sleep with my nerves like this. But I need to lie down anyway. What's with the paper here, though? Because it's, it's skewed. Like, that's, that's... It's not lined up correctly. It's very strange. I've been getting the worst headaches lately. I might be pushing myself too hard for this thesis. I just really want to be in top form tomorrow. I know this diary was originally just for research notes, but now I hope I can look back at it with Rumi someday and feel nostalgic. Um. What could this be, a diary? It looks like it. Judging from what's written inside, it's most likely Maruki's. But Seems like he has written about things in the past, but it looks like there are only fragments of them. Doesn't look like it has any meaning to it either. Hmm. Not sure it'll come in handy for the investigation, but let's hold on to it and see if we can find other ones. I'll have that. Smash it! Nothing else in here. Oh. I was hoping that was going to be it and be like, yeah, we did it! But no. Let's take out this yellow one. I'll reveal your true form. I mean, they're not that bad. Why is it yellow? Come. Ravage them. I was hoping for at least a freeze, but alright. A woo and such. I was just gonna finish them off with a simple rush, but okay. But that should do it. I wouldn't say it was flawless. Could have done it much better. Okay. I can feel beat him. Red phosphorus, not bad. I can make some good stuff with that in um Atlia. Another yellow. Oh. April 9th. I just can't believe what's happened. I'll never see Rumi's parents again. Don't even know if Rumi will ever come back to me. Her heart's been completely closed off ever since that day. Why did this happen? Why did Rumi... What did Rumi do to deserve this? Do we really have to just go on suffering the consequences? My headaches are getting worse. I'm even starting to hear things. Am I having some kind of breakdown? I can't lose it. I have to do something to help Rumi. No matter what it takes. Mm. I'm not too fussed about the door, but is there anything else in here? There's a vent. Right. Whoop. It's like we'll be having that. Alright, a chest! Joker! It's a treasure chest! There we go. 
This is what I've been after, that will seed. I was wondering if they were about. Infinity Sabre. Hmm. Appears to be a spirited weapon. Go ahead. Thank you. Can not jump that in that way? Would be nice. First one. That's the key thing I wanted to know. Oh. Not bad. Okay, so it's gotta be this room then. Show me your true form! Respect for your elders from the obelisk floaty thing. Get some payback there, mate. He's a bit chilled. It's showtime. What does it say on that like billboard behind them? Prodigal Sons, but there was other ones as well. It's just so close to the camera. And speaking of close to the camera, Morgana's broke another one. Okay. Right. Shadow defeated. Now let's push forward. You're green, sir. So. I'll reveal your true form. Ah, a treasure chest. I'll reveal your true form. Show me your true form. Level up, Courses through me. I still think out of all the show times, my favorite one is oh. Ryuji. Yusuke. Just something about that one. I, th I think it's because we had the little joke of like, it's like, so such and such walks into a bar with the latest one, like, being the funniest one. Well, not the latest one. Like, not the latest one we saw, but the, the latest in the joke was, um, Somewhere. so God walks into a bar. Show me your true form. Something funny about it that I like. Guess we've got to go from the other side. I'm just thinking, like, maybe, maybe there's actually something in there that I had to pick up other than a chest. Anything blue, like, information? Doesn't seem to be. Alright, very well. In yellow, I don't see any stuff here, but I do see that. It's a really old computer. The entire palace has been rather bizarre, but this room is rather strange in its own way. CRT TV, huh? Talk about old school. Look, it's even got a built in VCR. Also, it's not even a computer, it's just one of those VCR TVs. Don't get inside the TV, everyone, that'll cause all sorts of chaos. Like going inside a TV, inside. The metaverse? It's gonna be a weird issue. Hmm. Maybe we've gotta watch some TV first? I highly doubt that. Actually, there's a chance he's right. 
There appears to be a tape by the VCR. Well, it appears we don't have any choice but to watch the tape, do we? Of course, it could possibly just be a trap. Let's watch the tape. Bum ba dum bum. Nothing's happening. It's making some strange noises. Could it be broken? Nah, that's just how they sounded. Do you think we should try whacking it? Couldn't hurt. Uh, please don't. Oh, it's playing. Stay on guard, everyone. How are you feeling today, Rumi? This is really good quality for VCR. Sorry I came empty-handed. I've just been so busy with the research lately. I haven't had the chance to pick up any part-time work. I know. I'll buy you flowers the next time I come. Do you remember that wildflower field we used to go to back in high school? You really loved it there, didn't you? Oh, would you prefer if I brought you some snacks instead? Which should I bring? Sweet or salty? I know you like both, so... Actually, I have some news for you today. So first, I've finished my paper. The other thing is... They caught the culprit. He's in police custody now. You don't need to worry anymore. <sighs> of course, that doesn't mean everything's over and done with. But things are going to proceed as they ought to. <sighs> My cognitive science is the study of people's hearts and how they guide people's views of the world. Everyone comprehends the world in a different way, depending on their cognition. So basically, if one could tap into a person's cognitive world, one would even be able to alter how that person views reality in every way. That's what my paper is all about. <laughs> Here I am, going way over your head with this stuff, just like always. <sighs> but anyway, I've recently met someone who thinks my research could be fruitful. If everything moves forward as planned, they may even fund my work. At that point, I'd be the first professional scientist in the world. My goal is to find a way to stop crime by putting my research into action. First step is to take out everyone who doesn't say it with a P. Many of the criminals in this world are deluded to the point of seeing everything through a distorted lens. If I could change their cognitions, it would stop them from committing crimes before they even considered them. And if I were to succeed, the things that happened to you would never happen to anyone else again. <sighs> I want to save you. No, not just you. I want to save the whole world with my cognitive science. Well, at least I know your family would appreciate it. <laughs> Rumi, it's me. Are you all right? Can you talk? Takto... family... <sighs> My family... Dad... Mom... No... Please... Please don't go! Ah! Rumi... Rumi... It's okay... Calm down... Give them back! Give me my mom and dad! <sighs> <sighs> These migraines are... Damn it! Oh, I get migraines. They're terrible. They don't usually come with voices, though. Don't worry. Someone's coming to help. I believe it was most likely a post-traumatic episode. Memories of the incident must have resurfaced due to some sort of stimuli, like certain imagery or phrasing. Phrasing? 
I'm so sorry, Rumi. It's all my fault. Deep down, I knew I could end all crime across the world. It still wouldn't bring your family back. What you truly need is to be set free from that horrible tragedy. But how can I do that? Must seek me. <sighs> what? What was that? It's just the voices. Akuto, please stop this. I want to forget. Forget? I wish I could do something to... Oh, but wait. By altering a subject's cognition, by changing their heart, any related trauma is eliminated. You must seek me. So, by that logic, all that pain, Rumi's trauma and everyone else's, it can be undone. Manifests thoughts itself. I shall echo your blasphemous fury with reality, so that we may together change the world. Now, call me forth. Yes, I'll do it. I am thou and all that. I don't care who you may be. Lend me your strength. Please, help me save Rumi's life. What was that? Rumi, are you okay? Who... Who are you? Rumi, it's me! Um, I'm really sorry, but I don't know who you are. Rumi, what do you mean? I've just gone through surgery. Ever since I was born, I've been unwell. I lost my parents when I was young, so I live with my grandparents in the countryside now. When you were... young? You can't. It's me, Rumi. Don't you remember me? In the mountains. Um, I really am sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to be discharged from here pretty soon, now that I've finished my last round of surgery. I can't wait to see my grandparents again, and show them how well I've recovered. This is... Were her memories actually revised? Wait, was that voice really... Um... Are you alright? That's absurd. How could something like... Oh, I mean... It's nothing. I'm just glad you're doing better now. She remembers nothing of the incident. So, for Rumi... By the way, what are you doing in my room? How do you know my name? Oh, well, I'm, uh... Sorry. I mistook you for someone else. Another person? Yeah. My... my girlfriend's name is Rumi, too. Really? That's so nice to hear. Yeah. Huh? Looks like I really messed up finding the right room. I really am sorry to disturb you. Um, so I know this might sound odd, but if you'd like to meet again sometime... Oh, it's like me. You'd like, go for it. Thank you for the offer, but... I'm sorry. See, that's the idiotic thing there. It's like, okay, so like, she's better now, that thing has changed, okay. But, but she still has some idea of what's going on. So you could still get a relationship and everything be fine again. It's like... You're an idiot, mate. I'm going to be getting busier than ever soon. So I don't believe we'll be meeting again. Really? But what about your girlfriend? Yes, what about your girlfriend? She's... passed away. That's why I won't be coming here anymore. You bloody idiot. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um... I hope you feel better soon. And I know the people who care about you wish the same. 
It's it's that sort of thing. It's like he's such a. It's it's like, again. It's that idea of like he's a nice person. He's just a misguided fool. That was Dr. Maruki, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Based on what we've seen, we can surmise that Dr. Maruki's memory was somehow on that videotape. In 1080p, no less. The way that woman was acting at the end, that's just how it went for me, too. So he rewrote her cognition. Considering what he was saying in the video, that might have been the moment he first awakened to his ability. Could Dr. Maruki possibly have wanted us to watch this memory? Um, I don't think that's the case. No, I, I, I think, like, every, every palace so far has had this sort of, like, leaning towards that they want the change of heart. They want that aspect to happen. It's like an underpinning sort of aspect where it's like there's always a way past security there's always a way to get around things there's always an extra bridge there's always something going on for someone to move past that if they really do try it's possible that this is just an old memory he tried to bury in his unconscious mind still if this actually occurred there's no mistaking it for a trivial memory this is clearly important to maraki whether for good or bad it appears that this incident is what led Dr. Maruki to his current mission. Again, he's a good guy, but he's an idiot. You're right. Let's get out of here then. Anything Sorry. else in here? No. It's that idea of like he's he's basing all his thoughts there and like like when I don't want her to to get her memories back and stuff like that, they might come back. That's a hypothesis. Like, sure, it could hurt, but there's only one way to find out for sure. Security lock currently engaged. Please answer the following identity authentication question. What did Takuto Maruki lose in exchange for the power to rewrite cognitions? Hmm. I know the answer after watching that video. I assume you know as well. You can do the honors. His lover. I mean, if there's only four answers, we could have just tried all four. It doesn't say you can, you can't try more than one. Like, just try again. Basically, just try again and again and again and again. Boom. Sure. Authentication complete. Disengaging lock. Oh yeah! Nailed it. Of course, this place is all based on cognition, so we still would need to try it. But you, you know my point. Wait. What is this? There's a new map, everyone! This appears to be a floor plan of the palace. It's quite thorough. It seems that we still have a long way to go. Huh? Maruki cognitive science of a P laboratory. For real? This palace is a lab? Oh? You really hadn't figured that out yet? Given Maruki's past and the palace's appearance we've seen so far, it wasn't difficult to deduce. Shut up, this place is just so weird that I didn't bother thinking about it yet. You get me, don't you, Ren? Oh, yeah, I get you. Yeah, take that. Do you have a, a moment? palace's appearance is based on what its ruler thinks of someone or something. In Takudo Maruki's case, he must think of the stadium as a laboratory. Yeah, I get that part, but why the stadium of all places? Um. That reminds me of something I heard a while ago. Before starting construction on the stadium, there were apparently plans to build some kind of research facility. I wonder, could it have anything to do with that? Hmm. It's possible, but for now we should focus on progressing in the palace rather than trying to answer questions. I mean, he's right. He's right. Lots of open space in here. <gasps> look, a door on the other end. Let's check it out. Doesn't this look like some kind of research facility to you now? The further we progress, the more we see the palace for what it really is. Let's keep up the infiltrating. Let's go see what that big yellow dot was. Not working very well. 
Uh, at least we know now. About this big room though. Like, ugh. There's a safe room over there from the looks of it. I didn't know there was a safe room here. There is, look. It's right there. Research ward. 